So Philippa, actually, at the end of the last video, you were looking for the ruler which you've borrowed from me, my second ruler <laughs> that you borrowed from me, um, to, show, to, sh to, sh to show your viewers how you get the right angle on the line so that you get these little boxes. I've lost my count now, Richard. Good. You've got enough lines <laughs> okay, there. Okay. So, You've got enough lines there. <laughs> right, okay. Well, normally, I could obviously, I'd be drawing across that. I've drawn in the cloud because actually that's going to be covered over. So I actually don't even need to draw on that. So hang on a minute, Richard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. I'm going to just show that if, if you want over these solid areas, whoops, you don't just stroke it down the channel. I'm always teaching people how to do this, but actually, you know, I haven't done it for ages and um, because I'm lucky enough to have a designer working with me and um, it's not as, not as easy as I always remember. So take it to there and then down the way. Obviously, nobody's going to care once you've got the unicorn stuck on the front or whatever animal you want. I think, I think I've just lost one now. I think I've just gone one out, but do you know what? Nobody's going to care. <laughs> right, so the opposite direction. Well done, Richard. Right, what I would do is to take a, so stitched all the, uh, to you that's, um, is that southeast and northwest, yes? Yeah, it depends what you're look, which way you're looking at it, but yeah. It's upside down to me, so I'm trying to be helpful here. Right, so the opposite angle, obviously, you want to have that at a 90 degree angle, you know, it's absolutely square squares are really useful for decorating. So you, you can do triangles, that's fine. Um, well, diamonds, not triangles, but um, you're limited really with uh, diamond shapes as to what you can decorate, how you can decorate it. So what I do is I take the line I've drawn, towards the middle of the area that you've drawn. Don't try and start it at the edge because obviously you've got less line to keep it straight. So I'm going to go over here and here and just go to the top of where your line has hit from the first layer of, of um, the laid work there. And then take your uh, pencil to the end of there, make a little dot and just draw that in. So it would actually be much easier the right way up for me, but um, I'm a pretty clumsy person. I have to use all the tricks in the book to get this right. But just stroke again, 45 degrees, and just stroke your pencil down. Don't get your pencil into this area because that's where you're going to write the name. Right, so that, ta-da! <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks, Richard. 